So, uh, as uh, Andrew says, my name is Will Hammond. Uh, I'm British. I like full English breakfasts. Uh, I'm a developer that has spent the last few years doing operations work. And I'm going to be talking today about measuring stuff, uh, about what we measure and why you measure it. So, there's a saying you may have heard um, if it moves, graph it. And I don't know where this saying comes from, but I first heard it from Laurie Dines, who sat somewhere over there uh, back in London um, when he worked at Last FM. And the idea behind this saying is that if there's any kind of number in your infrastructure and it changes, then you should record it over time, graph it, uh, and then you can understand it. So we graph everything about our service. We graph the, we graph the, um, this, the length of time it takes to serve a web page. We graph the number of errors. We graph everything in proc, even though we don't understand it. And there's one problem with this as a theory, which is that our servers don't actually move. Even the magic cloud servers that we get from Amazon, they're stuck in a data center in North Virginia. And if they don't move, why are we graphing them? <laughs> so um, I guess I'm making Laurie sad by willfully misinterpreting what he said. I think he actually has a valid point. If something moves, it is worth graphing it, and it is worth trying to understand what it's doing. And, and that's true of things that move in the real world, like people. So for the last year, I've been graphing my activity every day. And this is the graph that I get. You can see when I was sick in October and November. You can see when I started walking to work in August. You can see every long run I took. Uh, and I've made this graph using this, the Nike Fuel Band. Uh, I'm wearing it on my wrist right now. Um, and this is a small wristband. It's got a couple of accelerometers in it. It gives you hourly stats on how much activity you've done, how much you've moved. And the number it gives back is this weird thing called fuel, which is a bit like load average in that you don't really un have to understand where it comes from to understand <laughs> what, it, what it is. So you get nothing for sitting still, you get some points for walking around, and you get a lot of points for running. And the nice thing about this thing is it actually changes your behavior. This is my first week with a fuel band. I got it on Wednesday afternoon, so Wednesday doesn't really count. But Thursday was what I thought a fairly active day, and I got nowhere near my daily goal. And on Friday, I actually started changing my behavior to try and meet the daily goal, and ever since then, I've been more active. The net result is that my weight has been dropping steadily for the last year. And you're probably sat there thinking, well, Paul, you're kind of skinny, and you're not exactly tall, so you probably don't weigh that much, and you're right. But for the last 10 years or so, I've been carrying a surprising amount of fat around for me, and my fat weight has dropped as well. Um, this is the last year of fat mass. And one of the reasons that I've been able to kind of change my behavior and change how much I weigh is because of the positive reinforcement that, that having an accelerometer on my wrist gives me. So uh, as an example, this, the bottom graph here is the graph you saw earlier. This is the graph of the number I see every day. The top graph is another stat that it records. It's minutes active each day. And you can see it varies a lot more. And the reason it varies a lot more is because I don't get that positive reinforcement every day. And I'm not trying to meet that goal. I'm telling you about this because our jobs make us unhealthy. Our jobs require us to sit still for hours on end typing. And it's very easy for us to go an entire day without doing any exercise. If even half the people in this room get an activity monitor and start trying to become more active, then it's going to make us healthier. I'm not saying you have to get a Nike fuel band. You could get a Fitbit. You could get, um, you could get a Jawbone up. You could get an app for your iPhone like the Moves app. You could get an iPod Nano, which now has an accelerometer built in. You could get one of these scales things. But I think it's really important for people to start paying attention to how much they're moving and how active they are. Um, Stephen Wolfram has actually been doing this for 10 years now, and uh, he's been tracking every step. He's also been tracking every single meeting, every single email, every single key press on his keyboard, and he's tracking that to try and help him improve his life. We're also seeing this um, start to show up in some of the tools. My favorite example of this is the GitHub public contributions thing, which tells you every day how much you're contributing to open source software, trying to encourage you to contribute more. And this is a really useful feedback habit. If you're going to go down this path of trying to improve yourself by measuring yourself, you have to understand that it's really easy to cheat. I could just sit here and do this for hours <laughs> and get points. But if I do that, I'm only cheating myself, and I'm not going to get the benefits that I want. The other reason I'm telling you about this is whilst the hardware of all of these systems is great and the data they give you is really useful, the services and the visualizations all suck. But the data is there, and I'm hoping that some of the people in this audience can, can take that data and do the same kind of stuff that we do with our ops metrics to make it awesome. Lastly, we all understand that losing weight or, or getting fit is a long-term endeavor that involves doing a little bit every single day, every single week for a long-term goal. But when it comes to the performance of our sites and our services, we're always looking for the next quick fix. So I wonder whether we could be doing the same thing with our, with our sites and services and, and trying to do, take a longer-term approach. Anyway, I'm out of time. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,